Lucas, you met Dimitri Chudinov for the first time at a press conference. You seem quite amused by him and his uh, promoter, Vlad. Strange guys, man. You know, I've never seen... I mean, obviously, going from what I did to deal with in my last fight to that, polar opposites, you know? They're, um, you got his, you got his promoter laughing, cracking jokes, laughing hysterically at his own jokes while everyone else is quiet. And then you got Dimitri just being the nice guy. And uh, I'm not used to seeing that, especially from Russian fighters. Usually they're very, you know, but hey, you know, at the end of the day, really, it's not about any of that. It's about what's going to happen on the 28th. And what's going to happen is uh, complete domination on my part. Yeah, did it take you a bit by surprise, given that um, what you suffered from Billy Joe Saunders? What's that? Did it take you by surprise, given the, the stick you suffered from Billy Joe Saunders? Everybody's different, you know. Not everyone can be um, as dumb as, as what Saunders was leading up to the fight with the things that he said and did. Um, you know, that actually built the fight. So maybe he's smart, who knows? Maybe, you know, it got a lot of people interested. But, um, you know, this guy's a different, he's a different character, a different fighter. And, um, you know, I know exactly how to deal with this guy. Do you expect him to be a lot not more nasty on the night? I hope so. If not, it's going to be it's going to be a short, short, a short, short fight. But um, you know, from what I've seen, you know, he's strong. He's a come forward fighter. He likes uh, he likes a brawl. So um, we're going to give it to him. Do you think he, that star who comes forward, walks forward, but high guard? Are they made for for Chris Eubank Jr.? Definitely, definitely. You know, he's going to be walking onto shots all day, and all night, and uh, eventually I'm going to catch him with something strong enough to put him put him down on the canvas. When this fight was offered to you, what you know, you could easy, you could have had a much easier sort of comeback after Billy Joe. What made you go for this man particularly? You know, in my eyes, I'm still undefeated. I have the loss on my record, but in my eyes, I haven't been in the ring with anyone who I feel is a better fighter than me or that beat me on the night. And um, so for me, it, wouldn't, it didn't make sense to just take a take a step back. You know, I wanted to stay at that level, at the high level, and uh, and get me a title. You know, I need one. This is only, still only the 20th professional fight. Did you expect to be this far after so many fights when you turned professional? You know what, uh, you know, in my career, I just, I've just taken each fight as they came. And, um, you know, some people said that, oh, you know, the, the Saunders fight was too early. In my opinion, everything happens for a reason. And uh, I think I'm still on track. And, uh, you know, the world title shot, which will come if I'm able to take this guy out, is, uh, you know, it's a dream come true, especially if it's against Saunders. With how close the Billy Joe Saunders fight, a lot of people are expecting an, an inevitable rematch. What would you do differently in the next fight? Um, I'd make sure that the judges had no say in the outcome. And, uh, you know, I'd give him absolutely no chances in the early, early rounds, which is what I did, and which was why he was able to, to steal it from me, which is what he did. He didn't beat me, he stole the fight. Um, you know, in the rematch, I will give him nothing. You admit to getting your sort of sparring, well, not wrong, but tough getting decent sparring in for that fight. You've gone to Manchester this time. How well is that working out for you at Joe Gallagher's gym with Paul Smith and Liam Smith? Great. You know, I need high-level sparring. I'm, I'm in these high-level fights now, and that's what I need. Um, you know, we've also been training at, sparring at uh, Ricky Hatton's gym. Um, just going around and just getting in the ring with, uh, you know, as many of these northern fighters as I can. Um, I can't get sparring in the south, it seems, so I've gone up to Manchester and, you know, so far so good. Do you think northern fighters are that bit harder then than southern fighters? Um, who are willing I'm not to saying that you? because I'm a southern fighter myself, but I'm saying, you know, in the industry, in the community, um, it just seems that there's more fighters up north that are willing to get in the ring than there are in the south maybe it's I mean I've sparred a lot of people in the south so you know obviously some of these guys they spar with me and then they don't want to spar again um, so I just I need fresh blood and that's what I'm getting up in Manchester. Manchester was a place your dad used to train a lot was that one of his ideas to go there? Yeah it was um, you know him my trainer Ronnie um, you know they they got in touch with uh, some of the, the the main guys up there and you know sorted the sparring out so we're taking full advantage of it. You said at the press conference, some people love you, some people hate you. Do you think of yourself as a Marmite type of fighter? That's exactly how I think, you know. That's, that's what love and, love and hate is. You either, you either you enjoy the things that I do, you enjoy how I speak, you enjoy how I fight, or you think I'm arrogant and cocky and you want to see me get knocked out. Either way, 
um, you know, you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay for your ticket, you're gonna pay for your Box Nation subscription to see see me fight, whether it's to lose or to win, and that's what you want. You don't want to be in the middle. You want to be, you want to be on either end. When people meet you away from the boxing ring, you are quite a nice guy, aren't you? I'm a cool guy. You know, I'm in the ring. I have, I'm in the zone. I'm in fight mode. I'm, you know, I'm ready for war. So you can't judge me on, on how I am before. I'm about to fight, or while I'm fighting somebody, it's a fight. Um, you know, outside of the ring, I got time for everybody. You know, I see my fans, pictures, autographs. You know, never shut anybody down. I'm not like that. I'm a, I'm a cool guy. But uh, you know, as the years go by, more and more people will see that. And I think they're starting already to see that anyway. And finally, when you're in fight mode, what is going to happen to Dmitry Chudinov on February 28th? He's going to get stopped. You know, whether it's a knockout or he gives up. Um, I don't see it going past eight rounds.